Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This reports for the 13th of June. Well, Friday we were talking about this, and now even before Friday, uh, once magenta moves below that 25, we expect weakness. I was saying that as soon as we broke the 23, my expectation was to the zero. Um, it was just a matter of waiting for uh, white to move above magenta. It did so on uh, Friday, and um, as ugly as Friday was, uh, a continuation of it already here in pre-market, um, significantly lower, and that puts the year to date, there's the start of the year, uh, just from a reference standpoint. And uh, this is the culmination of uh, market participants who were optimistic, starting to recognize that a lot of the things that we've talked about, uh, well, since the beginning of the decline, even for the NQ, and that uh, with the Russia situation, that is having a global impact, and it's uh, really starting to... Uh, deepen its effect. I mean, the amount of raw materials that uh, Russia provides to the world outside of just uh, the oil um, are significant for a lot of production uh, areas and create uh, not just uh, supply constraints, but limit uh, the ability to get rare earth metals and things like that. And then you have other countries being defensive about exports and that, and this is uh, just creating a massive uh, supply display and uh, disruption and it's, it's only going to be exacerbated but now what you're starting to see in the markets is uh, credit crisis uh, much like we experienced in late 07 in that where uh, counterparties are now worried about whether or not uh, the ones that they're loaning to overnight and such are going to be able to handle uh, the situation and that is where we see the repo market has been um, you know, growing and growing because this counterparty risk situation is um, really going to be a serious one. And uh, it's reflected in what we're seeing here. DOC completely look at the separation between. I mean, we're getting into a you know, near reversal area. So this break of the zero, even if it exacerbates a little, likely to come back up to it, but uh, it doesn't solve some of the. Uh, uh, broader concerns, and you're starting to see this echo throughout uh, everything. The Eurozone, uh, this fake move uh, all along we knew was just for banks trying to hold on to things, but um, the conditions are bleak. I would expect this uh, euro to drop below that uh, previous 0% and uh, continue uh, a decline in some dollar. Um, Particularly if things, uh, if nothing is you know, used to counter it because of the current uh, setup. Um, it's just not viable uh, where things are at at this particular stage. Um, gold suffering simply uh, off that uh, pump and again, easily manipulated because without Russia even involved in the um, calculus for gold, uh, again, we end up with one of those uh, pseudo markets where the paper trade of it um, can affect the actual real uh, commodity value. And that's the, the whole point of that. Uh, if gold were allowed to move uh, relative to what actually is taking place with inflation, uh, it would be uh, significantly higher uh, than what it is. And when we look at oil, uh, this is catastrophically uh, expensive given where we were just a couple of years ago uh, with um, ample supply. And it's not that there's a supply, this is a self created restriction. I mean, it just, um, it's just completely created uh, out of thin air for, uh, you know, purposes. Well, that's a whole different issue. The purpose is just simply uh, political at this particular stage. And however you feel on that, the real world uh, effects are uh, becoming more and more apparent by the day. I promised the TLT would break below these lows as rates continue to move higher. As those rates continue to move higher, I told you it would pressure the market lower because it gives people an alternative. And uh, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. We even look at pre-market at 112. So yeah, that'll break it uh, completely. Uh, no, no surprise with any of that. Um, <laughs> Tan them out with the NASDAQ and uh, the regular markets, uh, Bitcoin, uh, catastrophically diving here. Uh, now below the 24, if it breaks, uh, the 23 some, uh, this fills all positive extremes that took place. And again, just references, uh, you know, it depends on your timeline, but they do get filled. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, following what we get. And uh, this has been in the clear negative since we were topped up at the 31. Uh, every pop has been met with, uh, you know, breakdowns that uh, just continue to uh, uh, 
it's just that it's going to fade further. Um, ETH, my card actually made it go way back because uh, with the current setup, you can see the breakdown. And uh, again, you know, there are other issues with crypto, and you know, a lot of central governments and that have become more and more. Uh, negative on their approach because they're recognizing their need to want to control things, particularly um, SEC conditions starting to spiral. Uh, they're going to be very defensive about their currencies and they're going to make it do everything they can either limit access to cryptos or um, just keep things from uh, getting out of control as far as uh, currency debasements and that. And so it uh, becomes quite precarious. Uh, from that standpoint, and you know, again, it's one of those weird ones where because as oil rises, uh, it takes less and less of Russia to sell on the open market to achieve the same income they were earning before. So uh, the only one who's paying for it is everybody else uh, in the world. Uh, it's an interesting setup. 50k, yeah, that was clear from even before this uh, breakdown. That's been even short from the other day, but it was previously short going all the way back to. Uh, when we were in that 4,000 range, 4,100, uh, nothing's changed there. If we look at it from the uh, um, first thing in the morning breakdown here, we had uh, the short all the way back uh, middle of the day on uh, Friday, and uh, nothing changed from there. And uh, this collapse is just a, a continuation of that same move. So um, there you have it. The um, broader plays, does that mean that we're not going to see some significant rallies within this? I would think we will. But uh, overall, uh, you can't escape the uh, broader implications and what it means to uh, future earnings. And so this is the question. It becomes how fast, how far does the economy slow and stop? This is something we talked about at the beginning of the year. Here we are six months later, and it's finally uh, coming to fruition. You can already see it building uh, by the time we get to March and April. And uh, now, once the snowball starts, though, uh, it becomes difficult to uh, get a handle on where it uh, ends. And as I stated before, I think it's going to be a sporadic one where just certain regions that uh, have difficulties in the U.S. are going to suffer more. Uh, but I don't think there's anyone getting around uh, the supply material constraints that exist. So, um, is this turmoil done? No, I, I expected that we would have a very active summer where everyone's selling May and go away. Well, um, that would have been good, except for the fact that even at the end of May, things were pretty significantly lower, and uh, the potential for that to uh, continue uh, is an issue. And the problem also with that one was is where were you going to put the money? Uh, already, if you'd put it in treasuries, you'd be uh, crying as well. So, um, keeping cash probably when you have inflation running at these levels it becomes a real dynamic uh, situation with uh, your money and not letting it sleep. So we will continue to keep an eye on that. We'll continue to post on the Skype chat. Uh, you can scroll back through Friday's action, but it was uh, also pretty clean from the downside. There really, uh, weren't a whole lot of problematic uh, trades within that setup. Uh, it begun on Thursday and it's just continued straight from there. So pretty darn clean from our standpoint, uh, able to see both the rallies, but the overall potential uh, has been uh, pressure to the downside. As always though, trade well. I will see you on the sketch chat.